Hey art friends, in this video we're learning how to draw a solar eclipse. It's going to be a lot of fun and I'm really excited because the solar eclipse is coming up. So I thought it would be fun to do this drawing. I hope you're going to follow along. Let's get started. Now we have our paper horizontal so that we have room to spread out the sun and the earth, also the moon. Well, let's first start with the sun. We're going to draw a big circle. We're going to draw it. These are not proportional sizes either. <laughs> So there's our sun, and then we're going to draw the earth, and we're going to draw it a little smaller and try to draw it straight across from the sun. So if you were to draw a line right in the middle of the sun, we would try to line it up with the middle of the earth. The earth is way too big for the sun. Now we're going to draw the moon, and the moon is a lot smaller, and we're going to draw it closer to the earth. So we'll draw it maybe right about here. I'm going to draw it this big. That should work. Okay, now we're going to use a ruler to draw the light and also the shadows. Let's start by connecting our ruler or lining it up with the top of the sun. And we're going to line it up with the bottom of the moon. And then we're going to draw a straight line through to the earth. Okay, then we're going to do the same thing except from the bottom of the sun to the top of the moon. So we're crossing over. I'm going to start there. Yeah, I'm kind of inside of the sun. That's okay. I want it to hit the earth. There we go. So there's our first sun rays or sun lines and also the shadow lines after the moon. Okay, now we're going to draw two more lines. We're going to start with the top of the sun, but then we're also going to connect to the top of the moon. So line up your ruler with the top of the sun, also the top of the moon, and then we're going to connect or draw that straight line and connect to the earth. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing, except with the bottom. So we'll line it up with the bottom of the sun and the bottom of the moon. And it should come to a really small point where it touches the earth. And it's okay if it doesn't look the same because your sun, earth, and moon might be slightly different sizes and you might also have them closer together or further away. So these lines may look a lot different on your paper. That's okay. We're just practicing and having fun. Okay, now let's add a little extra details so that you know this is the Earth. We'll just add squiggly lines for con continents. And um, I don't know which con continent this is. <laughs> That's okay. We're, <laughs> we're just going to draw them in there. Okay, <laughs> now we can add blue and green to our Earth. Then we can also color our moon gray and let's also color our sun. This part will speed up. But at the end, you can pause the video and take time to color your drawings. I've finished coloring my sun, moon, and earth. I also added some texture to my sun with an orange marker and also the sun rays coming off. Now let's color in the shadows. The top triangle and the bottom triangle are partial shadows, or it's also called the penumbra. And we're gonna use a light gray to color that in since it's not a complete shadow. Uh, this might be a little too dark, but uh, that's all right. We're going to color in these shadows, but this inside triangle is the full eclipse. This is the part that will shine on the earth where the sun is completely blocked out. And for that shadow, since it's darker or completely blocked out, I'm going to use a darker gray for that triangle. And we did it, we finished drawing and coloring our solar eclipse. It turned out really cool. I especially love these diagrams because it helps me understand what happens during a solar eclipse. I get them mixed up with lunar eclipses and solar eclipses. So we also have a lesson about the lunar eclipse and you can see what that looks like too. So you know for the solar eclipse that the moon is in between the sun and the earth. Also the two different shadows, I don't think I mentioned, the darker shadow is called the umbra. So you have the penumbra for the outside or the partial shadow, and then you have the darker shadow or the full eclipse or the full shadow. That's called the umbra. I hope you had a lot of fun following along with me and drawing a solar eclipse. Also getting ready for the actual solar eclipse that you get to watch. And also remember to wear those special glasses when you look at the sun. <laughs> I'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye.